Hello friends, how are you all? Hope everything's okay with you. W Ashraf here. So for today's video, we will share with you guys these fascinating facts about butterflies. Hope you like it. Thank you all so much for watching. Fascinating facts about butterflies. Butterfly wings are transparent. How can that be? We know butterflies is perhaps the most colorful, vibrant insects around. Well, a butterfly's wings are covered by a thousands of tiny scales, and these scales reflect light in different colors. But underneath all of those scales, a butterfly wing is actually formed by layers of chitin, the same protein that make up an insect's exoskeleton. These layers are so thin you can see right through them. As the butterfly ages, its scales fall off the wings leaving spots of transparency where the chitin layer is exposed. Butterfly stays with their feet Butterflies have taste receptors on their feet to help them find their host plants and locate food. A female butterfly lands on different plants, drumming the leaves with her feet until the plant releases its juices. Spines on the back of her legs have chemoreceptors that detect the right match of plant chemicals. When she identifies the right plant, she lays her eggs. A butterfly of any biological sex will also step on its food, using organs that sense dissolved sugars to taste food resources like fermenting fruit. Butterflies live on an all-liquid diet. Speaking of butterflies eating, adult butterflies can only feed on liquids, usually nectar. Their mouth parts are modified to enable them to drink, but they cannot chew solids. A proboscis, which functions as a drinking straw, stays curled up under the butterfly's chin until it finds a source of nectar or other liquid nutrition. The long, tubular structure then unfurls and sips up a meal. A few species of butterflies feed on sap, and some even resort to sipping from carrion. No matter the meal, they stack it up a straw. A butterfly must assemble its own proboscis quickly. A butterfly that can't drink nectar is doomed. One of its first jobs as an adult butterfly is to assemble its mouth parts. When a new adult emerges from the pupil case or chrysalis, its mouth is in two pieces. Using palpi located adjacent to the proboscis, the butterfly begins working the two parts together to form a single, tubular proboscis. You may see a newly emerged butterfly curling and uncurling the proboscis over and over, testing it out. Butterflies cannot fly if they are cold. Butterflies need an ideal body temperature of about 85 degrees Fahrenheit to fly. Since they're cold-blooded animals, they cannot regulate their own body temperatures. As a result, the surrounding air temperature has a big impact on their ability to function. If the air temperature falls about 55 degrees Fahrenheit, butterflies are rendered immobile, unable to flee from predators or feed. When air temperatures range between 82 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, Butterflies can fly with ease. Cooler days require a butterfly to warm up its flight muscles, either by shivering or basking in the sun. A newly emerged 
submerged butterfly cannot fly. Inside the chrysalis, a developing butterfly waits to emerge with its wings collapsed around its body. When it finally breaks free of the pupil case, it greets the world with tiny shriveled wings. The butterfly must immediately pump body fluid through its wing veins to expand them. Once its wings reach their full size, the butterfly must rest for a few hours to allow its body to dry and harden before it can take its first flight. Butterflies often live just a few weeks. Once it emerges from its chrysalis as an adult, a butterfly has only two to four short weeks to live, in most cases. During the time, it focuses all its energy on two tasks, eating and mating. Some of the smallest butterflies, the blues, may only survive a few days. However, butterflies that overwinter as adults like monarchs and mourning cloaks can live long as nine months. Butterflies are nearsighted but can see colors. Within about 10 to 12 feet, butterfly eyesight is quite good. Anything beyond that distance gets a little bit blurry though. Despite that, butterflies can see not just some of the colors that we can see, but also a range of ultraviolet colors that are invisible to the human eye. The butterflies themselves may even have ultraviolet markings on their wings to help them identify one another and locate potential mates. Flowers, too, display ultraviolet markings that act as a traffic signals to incoming pollinators like butterflies. Butterflies employ tricks to avoid being eaten. Butterflies rank pretty low on the food chain, with lots of hungry predators happy to make a meal of them. Therefore, they need some defense mechanisms. Some butterflies fold their wings to blend into the background, using camouflage to render themselves but invisible to predators. Others try the opposite strategy wearing vibrant colors and patterns that boldly announce their presence. Bright colored insects often pack a toxic punch if eaten, so predators learn to avoid them. How did a butterfly get its name? It has been suggested that people in the Middle Ages believed that butterflies stole milk and butter. The tendency for butterflies to feed and poop might also explain the old Dutch term. Butter-colored sulfur butterflies feeding together on animal excrement might have given rise to the name. Long ago, Dutch scientists were studying butterflies, and they took a look at their poop, which is officially called frass. They noticed that the droppings looked an awful lot like butter, so they gave the insects the name butterfly. Some people suggest there's another explanation for the name of these beautiful bugs. At one time, it was believed that witches turned themselves into butterflies and then flew off in search of food, especially butter. Butterflies glue their eggs to leaves. Female butterflies make a special sticky fluid that works like glue. They use it to attach their eggs to plants. The glue helps keep the eggs stuck in place. In fact, the eggs would be destroyed if anything tried to remove them from the plant. Once the eggs are attached to a leaf, a butterfly doesn't stay to care for its young, but it does carefully plant where it lays its eggs. It only chooses plants that will provide caterpillars with plenty to eat when they eventually hatch from their eggs.
There are about 165,000 species of butterflies. That's a lot of butterflies, and they're all quite different. Some are small, like the western pygmy blue, which is about a centimeter in size, and others, like the Queen Alexandra butterfly, can reach about the same size as a dinner plate when its wings are outstretched. And while some butterflies come in all kinds of vibrant colors, others like the glass-winged butterfly have wings that are completely see-through. Plus, while most butterflies flutter along quiet slowly, some like the skipper butterfly can fly quicker than a horse can run. What a family! Where do butterflies get their striking colors? Butterflies actually get their colors from two different sources, ordinary or pigmented color and structural color. The ordinary colors comes from normal chemical pigments that absorb certain wavelengths of light and reflect others. For example, the pigment chlorophyll colors plants green. The chlorophyll soaks up the blue and red colors of the spectrum, but not the green, which you see when it bounces back to your eye. Most butterflies get their different shades of brown and yellow from melanin, the same pigment that makes you tan in summer and gives some people freckles. The structural color of butterflies is where things get interesting. This type of color stems from the specific structure of the butterfly's wings and explains why some of a butterfly color seems to shift and appear so intense. This quality of changing colors is known as iridescence, and it occurs more in nature than you might think. Mother of pearl, seashells, fish, and peacocks are just a few examples of animals with this quality, but it is most pronounced in the butterfly family. It happens when light passes through a transparent, multi-layered surface and is reflected more than once. The multiple reflections compound one another and intensify colors. So that's it for today my friends thank you all so much for watching thank you all for your support and if you're new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe like comment and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever we post our new videos thank you all so much again and see you in our next video bye for now